happening today. In the event of a wildfire, as you're even seeing now, a speedy evacuation can be critical to survival. Today, Cambria residents learned it could take them several hours to escape the flames. Facebook Y reporter Asia Gore listened in on that wildfire preparation meeting in Cambria today. She joins us live in the newsroom with more details. Asia. Well, Dustin, not only is Cambria's complicated roadmap a barrier to a prompt evacuation, many of its residents are elderly and unable to drive. Those issues worked through today at the meeting. Three hours for you to get from the end of Marlboro out to here. And then another hour to get to 46. This room of Cambria residents audibly stunned. Four hours. As they learn an evacuation would take over three hours under ideal circumstances just to travel 1.5 miles from the Lodge Hill neighborhood to Highway 1. I wouldn't say they should be afraid of it. They should be aware of it and now start to plan accordingly. Dan Turner of the San Luis Obispo County Fire Safe Council presenting the findings of a Cal Poly study on Cambria's wildfire evacuation strategy. We only have one major highway coming into the community and limited, limited ways of getting those people out if a fire were to, were to occur. Situated in a native pine forest, this seaside village is a potential hot box made more dangerous by a complicated streetscape. Turner says evacuation prep here is a whole different ball game. In an emergency evacuation, we recommend you leave at the seventh inning, maybe the third or the fourth inning. The landscape not only problematic for an evacuation, but warning residents in the first place. There's a lot of people in the community, especially because of the terrain here, that do not have cell service. And so they still uh, rely heavily on uh, landlines or, or wired phones. The study also finds about a quarter of Cambria residents are unable to drive away from danger themselves due to their age. You have carless folks, people that are infirm that don't drive, children that, are, that don't drive that might be left at home. What's the plan for them? So it's neighbor helping neighbors really a critical part. No. The Fire Safe Council is also looking at ways to control southbound traffic on Highway 1 in the event of a wildfire. They're also hoping to educate residents about areas of refuge within Cambria just in case they're not able to evacuate. In the newsroom, I'm Asia Gore, KSPY News. Asia, thank you very much. And residents also heard from PG&E about the utilities plan to shut off power when conditions are primed for fire.